Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to be talking about how to scan or read barcodes using a USB barcode scanner device in JavaScript. So here I have a simple HTML page uh, and we actually want to display the last scanned barcode right in here. So uh, I'm just going to show you the source of the page so it's just as simple as this so in this dev that has the id last barcode we just want to place the scanned barcode so the generic idea behind the usb barcode scanners is that they are detected as keyboard right so whenever you scan a barcode using a usb barcode scanner it's actually uh, interpreted by the uh, the your computer as if you're entering the keys of the barcode however the timing between each key event is um, is just uh, very low so we are going to actually depend on the key down event meaning that we're just gonna depend on normal uh, keystrokes however we're going to take the uh, the timing between the uh, the keystrokes into our concentration in order to detect barcodes so without further ado let's get started so right in here after the title I'm gonna add script tag so script and uh, I'm gonna define a variable that is called barcode which is going to store the barcode obviously and I'm going to define a variable that's called interval that's gonna hold the interval um, ID okay so what we need to do now is actually add an event listener for the key down uh, event so document dot add event listener key down and then our handler method so function this function actually takes the event okay so uh, right now we, we just received the first character right so we now have an uh, an interval for like 20 milliseconds right and whenever we receive the second character we just want to clear this interval right because if we did not clear the interval then this is going to trigger the uh, ha handler method of the interval which is going to clear the barcode as the difference in timing between the two keys is greater than 20 milliseconds for example so what we need to do now is if we have an interval then we just want to clear this interval so if interval then what we need to do is just clear the interval right okay we also need to check for the uh, the code of the uh, key down event because if the code is enter then this means that the barcode has the barcode device has finished reading the barcode because um, in most cases the barcode is followed by an enter so if evt or event the code is equal equal to enter then what we need to do is actually check if we have a barcode so if barcode then what we need to do is call the barcode handler so I'm just gonna type here handle barcode which is gonna take obviously the barcode and we're going to implement this method later on and what we need to do next is actually clear the barcode so barcode is equal to an empty string and then we just want to return okay the next thing to do if it's not an enter then it's obviously going to be either a shift 
or a character because if you're having a barcode of characters and you're having a capital letter then uh, the barcode uh, device actually sends first a shift then the letter right so what we need to do is exclude these shifts because we just want to get the or accumulate the letters so what we need to do now is check if the evt of the code is not equal to shift then what we need to do then is um, append this uh, new character to our barcode variable so barcode plus equal the evt dot key okay so what we need to do next is actually define the interval right because this is going to be a very important um, factor that actually decides whether this is a barcode or not so interval is going to be equal to set interval and the set interval actually takes the handler first the handler method and then it takes the um, the timeout in milliseconds so my handler method is going to be an arrow function that's actually going to simply clear the barcode so barcode is equal to an empty string right okay and the uh, the timeout I'm gonna set the timeout to 20 milliseconds right okay so uh, that's it with the detection part we just need now to define our uh, handle barcode method so function handle barcode and it actually takes the scanned barcode right so what I'm gonna do is actually just uh, use the document uh, query selector in order to modify the content of the last barcode dev so document dot query selector and we just want to select the ID last dash barcode dot enter HTML it's gonna be equal to scanned barcode and guess what that's it let's go back to our page refresh the page so right now I'm gonna connect my barcode device here we go so I'm gonna start scanning a uh, product barcode here we go okay so as you can see right here we're having shifts so obviously we did something wrong let's go back to the code okay so I just uh, have a typo here this is not code this is event.key okay let's go back and refresh let's now try to scan again here we go scan another barcode and here we go so uh, this is guys how you can uh, read the barcode from a USB device and then uh, use this uh, scanned barcode and call whatever method or do whatever logic that you want. So that's it guys for this video and catch you in the next one.